Now it's time to add the chair and the dinner plate along with the dinner mat so that we can complete the entire uh, this dining table set. Now make sure uh, again you will be using GDL object and uh, any required chair you can select as per your choice or the object name and then uh, I'll be in need of dimension 1 and dimension 2 as the parameters that is the uh, basic width of the chair and the depth of the chair or length or uh, length and depth of the chair you can see which I'm willing to change uh, or maybe we can because we have to use that value for uh, further calculations so adding these two parameters is also important once you have added them now you can check out by default right now it is visible so this is what is my chair how it will appear right now correct now this chair is exactly organized from the origin and uh, now it's time to make it suitable for our need now the target is to arrange the chair on the short side and the long side also but first of all we'll talk about the short side now so make sure that you have added these two uh, length nodes also chair width and chair depth so 0.4 and 0.45 these are the actual values which have uh, used directly from this uh, existing chair object now how this entire thing is going to work uh, see what, what our target so i'll just explain the things few things on these uh, from this diagram now remember if there is supposed to be a dining table with single side chair then the logic is that we have a, some minimum width of the table uh, the chair width will be there and that ha the chair should be placed to the center of the table so the equally distributed on either side the offset value we can see so uh, the equation is table short side length minus uh, chair width divided by 2 this can become one simple logic or uh, calculation you can do on this basis of this now uh, if in case you increase the number of chairs on the uh, side maybe two or three chairs then there are two possibilities which can happen to distribute those chairs uh, either you can uh, keep this uh, equally away from each other with uh, respect to table short side length that means these chairs they are placed equally uh, away with each other all the, every time you can see 150 was a margin okay and the total length was 1800 400 was each chair length so what we have done that uh, the equation was table short side length minus table length of chairs sorry total length of chairs so the, if there are three chairs three into 400 that will get deducted from 1800 and the entire thing will get divided by total number of chairs on short side plus one unit the reason is that uh, if there are three chairs we have to uh, what are the remaining value that is 1800 minus 1200 600 that has to be get divided by four because there are four gaps one two three and four okay so one unit we have to add so this can become one possibility uh, or otherwise there's one more possibility that uh, where we are not going to talk about uh, because here uh, there's a problem so if you check out the 600 is supposed to be actually width of the per person dining uh, width which we are a lot uh, we are giving uh, but uh, then the space between the chair and the uh, space which you have allotted there is some difference you can see here like how it is supposed to be uh, different but if same thing if you want to continue with some other method uh, which I feel it's better so I'm going to use this method itself where uh, the equation is if multiple chairs on short side to be uh, to place them uh, to the center of uh, per person dining width okay that is uh, per person dining width its center and according to that so the equation goes like per person uh, dining length uh, which we have a 600 over here okay uh, minus chair length so what are the chair length you have or the width you can say not length i can say width you can say so divide by 2 so that 400 so 600 minus 400 divided by 2 so that's going to be a in short the value for a so we are going to, i'm going to use this equation because this equation can be helpful for me even uh, to place the chairs on the long side so even if uh, even if i work with this uh, short side equation uh, the same equation is even applicable for long side if there are no chairs 
correct if there is no chair on the uh, inside then my uh, equation works in the same manner uh, the way i'm working right now for this last combination so i'll follow this if you want to follow this you can use this also so that's absolutely your uh, choice so anyway let's concentrate on this so uh, this is what we are trying to target because this will give me a better uh, flexibility even if there is a one chair or multiple chair i don't have to write two separate programs where i have to write in this case there will be a slight possibility that you have to write two separate equations here i don't have to because the logic is uh, very simple that per person uh, dining uh, length now here the uh, length which i am using will be 900 not per person 600 uh, 900 so there will be a one uh, minimum maximum logic i'll apply so either i'll use 900 or 600 and as per that it will be considered so i'll let you know that on uh, our explanation so by keeping this thought that single chair has to be get placed with the minimum width which i have decided as a 900 to its center and if there are multiple chairs then they will get decided by the situation so let's try to work with this now what i have done over here there is supposed to be the equation which i have already written that uh, in the expression you can check out it is written table short side uh, what are the length you are that will get divided by number of persons who are sitting on that side minus chair width okay uh, divided by this entire thing will get divided by two that is uh, my uh, uh, this equation as i have said this this was the logic behind it that overall length of the table divided by number of persons and uh, from that wa whatever i get is nothing but 600 itself because i can't directly take 600 uh, for the calculation so because uh, i have to play with the uh, minimum as a 900 and then i have to play with the uh, other side as a 1800 so that's the reason my problem was to uh, okay so either i have to play with the 900 or 1800 or any value that is 900 and onward okay so i hope uh, you have understood this equation very well now that uh, minus chair width that is uh, 1800 see imagine if it is 800 divided by 3 that is 600 minus chair width that has becomes as a uh, 400 so for 600 minus 400 is the 200 divided by uh, 2 will become a 100 so you can see how the 100 value works over here the same value i have already computed with this equation now once i have written this equation check out uh, this was the name the actual expression uh, expression you have to write over here a divided by b uh, minus c and that entire thing will get divided by d where d i kept as a constant as a 2 so uh, once you have to receive uh, once you have designed this now there is an integer series which you have to uh, work uh, here you can check out it is available in the uh, list input and integer series what we have done there is a start then there is a step and count so the count is always going to be in a simple task now uh, the count is nothing but i have to either go for uh, see uh, one or three uh, i can't take it zero because if i make this count zero the entire uh, equation will collapse that's the reason i have added one uh, max option over here by keeping b as a one so if a is uh, less than b then b will be followed otherwise uh, if uh, a is greater than b then uh, a will be followed but it, it will not be zero at any cost so i am taking that as a benefit over here then there is a uh, step logic that is uh, how, how that uh, the interval at the interval of say for example uh, every 600 every 500 so if you just check i have added this uh, maximum that is not less than 500 millimum, uh, millim uh, millimeter criteria that is the width of your so if you check out this that's nothing but individual width per person okay so uh, sorry in uh, uh, facing length per person so that is supposed to be what i have added so once you have added that now the value which you have computed from here because uh, this is nothing but uh, short side so total short side length so this is supposed to be my total short side length which i have added over here divided by uh, number of persons again as i've said that you can't divide by zero so because tomorrow if you make this value as a zero 
then it becomes invalid and your entire uh, thing will collapse so uh, don't uh, do that you have to uh, work with that logic of uh, um, see minimum one so that value is getting added over here so out of uh, one to three because again remember you are not connecting directly over here you are taking from this minimum and in the minimum zero to one was valid uh, zero to three was valid but i am not willing to use zero so i have discarded the zero or omitted the zero by using this uh, one uh, two uh, three logic okay so you know about this now very well okay now so that will get uh, multiplied and then deducting the chair width so already we have designed this chair width so that will get deducted and then it will get divided by 2 so now this becomes my uh, start point that is the offset which i am willing to go for so you will realize that soon once i start plugging this now there are other things so this becomes your uh, how many uh, chairs you want to go and see on the short side uh, then uh, obviously the rotate because this by default chair which you have inserted is uh, not uh, parallel uh, in the uh, what you can see orientation uh, needed for the short side so i have rotated this by 90 degree by default and then there is a move moving for the y axis so this my chair should get offsetted for the y value and then it has to be get copied also on the y axis also so combination of this uh, combination was the node which i have added and uh, now i'll try to plug this to the transform shape so this node which you have used the shape is already i have connected as a uh, say chair and the transformation i have want to plug this so you will just see how it works now so you can see now your three chairs are placed right so these are this is how your three chairs are there now this chair which is original is still there you can switch off that for sure because we are not in need of that afterwards so i'm going to switch off that now what is the another criteria uh, which you have, what is the another criteria which you have to care for uh, take care of that's nothing but the visibility in the sense uh, if uh, the visibility uh, is not controlled then uh, this chair will be always minimum one okay so the count which we are considering one will be always there on the short side which you are not interested to uh, preserve if the value for the uh, side chair you are uh, working as a zero so the way i'm trying to remove this you can see I, every time the chair is getting uh, reduced by one value and at the last it is becoming zero and uh, then you will see then uh, how come because it is supposed to be one as a count then how come it is not getting displayed it is not getting displayed due, due to the uh, visibility option which we have engaged uh, so if you check out we have already worked with this logic of greater than so if it is greater than zero only then uh, it is shown otherwise it won't be and then that's the reason I am taking the benefit of this particular, what you can say, uh, variable or uh, that's a, it's, it's a like a boolean option, like a true or false. So uh, it's either true or it's a false value. So I have took the benefit of that and that's the reason I was able to manage this. So I hope now you have understood about this uh, simple equation, how to get this uh, chairs on the short side. Now, in the next uh, step, we'll talk about how to work for the long side also. Now, we are going to arrange the chairs on the long side of the table. So, longer side of the table, now uh, already you, now it is for sure that the way you used to have that uh, restriction, that for the short side, either there will be zero chairs or number of chairs, maximum uh, three. So, that criteria is not applicable uh, on the long side always you will be uh, displaying the chair only how many chairs that depends on your uh, setting okay so how to place this chair the first chair for uh, most uh, uh, for its offset and then how to copy that uh, the logic is the same so i'm going to use the same equation little bit i'm going to modify in the sense i'm just going to uh, fine tune this for uh, long side so remember so remember 
that this time if in case you are using chairs on the short side then obviously there will be a gap on the from the corner of the table to start the chair on the long side and if it is not so in the sense there are no chairs on the short side then how it is going to work so these are the two possibilities which you should remember so to arrange the chair the first chair uh, when you are uh, working with the no chairs on this uh, with the on this uh, short side and if there are uh, if there is a chair on the short side whether it's a one or three it is immaterial moment you add the chair uh, the first chair on the long side will get offsetted with the 400 or what are the what you can say depth you have uh, or the width which you have allotted for the uh, individual dining uh, uh, space uh, so that will get added plus the required offset because your length of the uh, individual dining uh, space for a individual that is per person dining uh, length individual dining length that will be uh, the chair will get placed center to that okay so let's try to work for this so this is what we have to uh, talk about uh, for the offsetting feature for the first chair to be get offsetted on a condition if there is a chair on the short side then how it has to be get offsetted if there is no chair on the short side how it has to be get offsetted so that is what we are going to talk about now this equation is written that is nothing but dining uh, that is individual per dining length which we have used as a 600 if you remember so if i check out if you check out over here it is supposed to be 600 which i have used so from that I am going to deduct the width of the chair which is supposed to be 400 and that will get divided by 2. So that's the my first uh, possibility of the equation. Uh, then that value will be get added with the chair width but the chair width or concept that is nothing but that individual one chair no, which I am supposed to uh, that one chair width offset which I want to add. Uh, not one chair width I can say it is actually the dining space which you are allotting its width we are going to uh, add so how that is going to work so for that you have to uh, little bit uh, use this simple equation uh, and prior to that also you have to remember few things i'm just going to do a simple job for this see for example i'll be using uh, move shape Uh, and I'll just keep this or otherwise let's try to do it another way I'll use this uh, rotate shape for the Z which I'm going to keep over here okay and I'm just going to add this particular shape and then angle if I'm going to add this over here you can see the chair which used to be the original chair it is now rotated and if I increase this angle you can see how it is getting changed right so once I come to 180 that is which is needed so if you check out this uh, chair uh, which used to be uh, actually uh, not what you can see in the proper orientation for the long side of the table to make it compatible for the longer side I have to rotate the chair by 180 this is what I have done over here okay so the rotation is 180 but then problem is that that chair is actually getting placed out of the table range so i have to push that uh, inside and then how much what are the width is supposed to be that's the reason i have to add the uh, chair width but then along with that so once i add the chair width what will happen that chair will be actually placed exactly to the facing to the corner of the dining table say for example uh, if i further try to see move shape just to make you understand these settings so the shape i'm going to keep over here now and move this by uh, 400 as a width no? so this is supposed to be the width okay for the x you can see how this chair is now repeated so first chair is rotated and then it is supposed to be offsetted by uh, this particular uh, 400 and then it will be further fine-tuned so all these things which I am trying to tell you is nothing but related to this equation which I have explained. 
So anyway, I hope you have understood what exactly I was trying to say. Now it is supposed to be uh, how uh, if there is a chair on the side, then I have to add uh, the width of my this uh, dining area which I have allotted for per person. So per person width I have to add also along with that offset value which I have computed. Okay, so to work for this and again it is a conditional in the sense if there is no chair on the short side then there is no need of adding that uh, width. So if you remember I am talking about this, so uh, this value which I am talking about. So do you want to add that or no? So for example if I want to add this that means the 400 I have to add. So whether I uh, that 400 was actually because we have decided that my uh, minimum side is 400. So it depends if tomorrow it is 500 then that 500 will get added. But uh, what you have to remember is uh, nothing but whether to add that if it is yes then how much and if it is no then obviously it will be zero. So we are going to add that extra width if it is needed. So add person uh, dining width. So it is conditional. That means if there is uh, uh, at least one chair or more than that, once this value should be added. So what we have done, we have actually used the multiplication between this, see minimum 0 or 1. So if it is multiplied by 0, obviously the answer will be 0. If it is multiplied by 1, even if my number of chairs are 2, 3, whatever it may be, only once it will be considered, that is uh, the multiplication factor will be 1. So obviously that uh, value which we are supposed to work for uh, per person depth which we have allotted 400 or something like that. So that will get multiplied by either 0 or 1 and that, will, uh, that value will get added with the actual chair width and that becomes my D. So in this equation what will happen then? my uh, a b will a will get did, uh, from a b will get deducted that will get divided by 2 because c was designed as a 2 by default if you remember this and then uh, in that the d will get added so this is supposed to be my d value okay and then automatically that becomes my start point that is how much offset i have to maintain so now if you want to check this it's a very simple thing so if i reduce this to 1 and zero, you can see how the chair is ma getting managed to place it away from the corner. So that is what we have succeeded. Okay, now once you have completed this, the next task is supposed to work for the step. Step is obviously going to be again what are the uh, uh, width which you have, uh, uh, sorry, length which you have allotted uh, for per person. So that is uh, which you can definitely uh, use as a. Um, so if you check out that becomes my step now okay and apart from that uh, how many such uh, chairs you want to uh, use on that side so that i'll be using from here as a uh, this uh, cell limit that is persons on the long side rounded figure which will be used so then entire logic is going to work for me uh, in a similar manner okay because there is a rotation 180 degree which you have already seen um, so for the original chair and then it will be get moved for the x axis and the combination and the transform will be get done. Okay, so transform shape. So this is how my chairs are getting repeated on the uh, long side also. Now we uh, now the task is to complete the other side and adding the dining plate also. So we will see that in the next part. After completing this chairs on the long side, uh, of course right now you can't see both of them just because I have changed few settings so but soon you will uh, get the correct reflection. Now so this is a one more group which I have created. Now what is my next target that I actually would like to add the uh, this uh, dinner plate and the mat also on the table so it will look much better for the presentation. So for that, what I'm going to do is uh, there's one uh, what you can see object which I was trying to use, uh, which I have uh, downloaded from the net. So uh, if you just go and try to check that there is one object uh, which uh, service is supposed to be uh, its name and uh, that is available on the 
by default BIM cloud or uh, not BIM cloud, I can say BIM uh, it's the portal for the Archicad. So you can just check out from there and you can download that. I have just modified that a little bit for a few reasons, uh, just to make it uh, what I can see workable for my current need. So I have just a uh, little bit modified that for its overall, what you can see, uh, surfaces, uh, uh, the appearance. So more important thing was uh, try to keep it in this orientation that was something important. Remember the size of this uh, unit is 350 by two, uh, 320 millimeters. So just remember that. Now this particular, uh, so again as a GDL object I have uh, added this with the same logic of uh, dimension 1 and dimension 2 to be get controlled. So in case if you want to little bit modify that you can modify that also. So I have added this and now it's uh, along with that what are the uh, additional components so uh, there's a length time it a length, uh, uh, dinner mat, mat length and dinner mat width which have uh, added these two parameters and then uh, there's a uh, one uh, equation which we have written i have written uh, so how that works that is mat offset that is in the, again the same story you know, if, I, if you just check out if I keep the visibility as a true, you will see that this is how that particular by default uh, dinner plate is supposed to be appeared uh, for its location. But then I have to lift that also on the required height and plus I have to turn it and make it compatible. Uh, if in case, if I just try to disconnect this, this is what is the original condition. So then I have to rotate that, I have to offset that, the way we have adjusted this for the chair. So same way we have designed this uh, offset for the uh, mat and how that was designed that is a uh, chair width minus mat width divided by 2. Okay, so this was the expression which we have uh, designed. So just follow this expression and then that's the reason uh, whatever is supposed to be your uh, chair width you are going to apply that. So my uh, chair width is supposed to be this. Okay, so this will be the value minus the dural mat, uh, what you can say, uh, width. Uh, that is long side obviously. So, and uh, that will get divided by 2. So, that will become my offset distance. And there is uh, one more reason. There is one negative value which I have added for offsetting this. So, that this will get pushed also on the uh, required side. Say for example, if I disconnect this for a while. And if I just join this, you will see what is happening. It is now getting shifted. Okay, it is just getting exactly placed to the middle of the chair. Uh, but apart from that, if you just notice, this has to be get elevated also, and that place has to be get it has to be get placed at the top also. So for that, we are going to directly place this to the table offset Z also. You can now see how it works. Now, what is the next condition? The next condition was to make it compatible by turning this and offsetting this and so on. So obviously it will get turned automatically afterwards once we complete the remaining part of the uh, program. Now uh, right now it is exactly to the uh, flushing with the edge of the table which I am not interested. It has to be slightly away from this. So that is why I am putting this as a negative offset. Okay, So at present now it is shifted on this side. So that's okay. When it is getting rotated by uh, 180 degree, then you will realize how it works. Okay, so for that, I have, I have to now, I am going to do one thing along with the chair. Uh, so this was your last time result. If you, in case if you try to add the visibility uh, again back. So I have actually removed the visibility. But if I just add that visibility back, you will realize what exactly I am trying to see. So I'll just add the visibility and uh, then obviously uh, once that chair is getting displayed, for example, if I start adding the chair, so uh, okay, I'll add the visibility for other side also. For a while, I'll just switch on this side. So from here, I'll pull this and I'll just put it over here for a while. Hmm? 
so you'll realize now that what is what is the problem now once that chairs are displayed so that they are rotated same way the plate will get rotated and it will be aligned on the table okay so, uh, so to do that what i have done is uh, i am not now going to use this uh, group okay uh, so for the short side and long side for both the sides i am going to now use this particular additional feature known as a union this is again you should remember uh, always uh, that solid operation union and i am going to do the union of this chair and the uh, this uh, dinner plate set okay so that i am going to uh, actually combine so how i am going to do that so this is what is supposed to be my shape i am going to push that once for this uh, long uh, short side also you can see immediately the result over here short side also and same way i am going to push that into my long side also so same chair i'm oh, sorry uh, dinner plate set i'm going to push that on the long side also now you can see how it works right so now it is getting exactly placed the way i want correct now obviously now you can turn off the original uh, plate and the chair also because these two objects are of no use so i'm just going to click over here i'm going to say pause for the visibility so this will get removed same way uh, for the main chair also so i am going to make this also as a false right so now it is this is also removed so now almost i am ready right so you just remember about these things so the way i have just uh, added these components that is nothing but these three things uh, length width is nothing but uh, parameters uh, which i have added then uh, this offset value and all these things i have just clubbed directly with the union feature now this is of no use so you can actually remove these uh, you can now see disconnect and uh, this visibility i'll hold the control key from here and i'll just move it over here okay now it will go on the uh, union option and even this transform option also i'll disconnect i'll keep this for a while because later i want to actually you now because this is a part of the group so i'll just give a right click on this and i'll say grouping and remove from group and now i'll put this and i want to make this as a part of the group that means i want to add this node into my existing group so this is supposed to be long chair side group so you just select this and give a right click and you will say grouping and you can say add to the long chair uh, long side group okay so it is added now same way you have to do this for the short side also that is uh, union will be the part of the grouping of the short side and this particular option will be removed from the grouping and uh, apart from that you are going to disconnect these uh, uh, what you can see node values also so this will be just moved and kept it aside okay because uh, later i want to now in the last step what we are going to do we are just going to mirror this and complete this table so it's a very simple task now what is remaining is a very simple task so uh, just complete this much of work and uh, let's go ahead for the next part so now in the last part where i just i'm just interested to mirror these objects and rotate and keep them on the appropriate location okay so what uh, we have done till last step you remember that we have used the union logic and then i have kept that transform shape no as a separate one so now for this transform shape i am going to actually uh, because uh, the uh, short side chairs and that combination we would like to reflect that on the opposite end same with the long side chair that entire combination we would like to repeat that on the uh, other end of the long side so for that this is the logic you have to use the transform shape as your node combination combination of rotate z this will be by 180 degrees so that entire thing will get rotated if you want to see this one at a time i'll just show you i'll just disconnect this you will see what is happening you will see now this is what is rotated so the uh, short side uh, and it is rotated but then uh, uh, thing is what i have to actually move this back also as per the long side of the table length and then it has to be pushed also as per, as per the width of the table so uh, length and width these are the two parameters which you have to use for the Uh, move so that's the reason you can check out i have added this node with the uh, this uh, 
side width and the uh, long side uh, what you can see maximum length so short side length and long side length okay so these are the kind of a thing which you are going to add and uh, so here it is supposed to be you can see add side uh, dining width in what in the long side so if it is applicable as per that is if there is a chair uh, yes no you know it very well now if there is a side chair the distance will be added and so on so now these two parameters are already engaged in the x and y offset so i'm just going to plug that over here so immediately my chairs will be moved and kept over here okay and the same process i'm going to repeat for this side also again that is for the long side also we are going to rotate that by 180 degree only thing the value again the same thing everything is same then you'll see why not to use this uh, together uh, you can uh, only uh, for example if i just plug this directly over here okay so that is all that will also do so there's no uh, hard and fast thing that uh, i have to worry about this uh, only thing my uh, shape which you have to repeat you just remember about this so your union shape you have used over here and your uh, that is long side and short side union shape okay you have used over here and this entire thing can be the same so that's not an issue uh, but in case if you just want to keep it for some reason some different uh, because okay let's try let's try we can just try to this also okay and i'll just try to reduce this value over here okay fine so it's working very well so no worries so unnecessary extra node you don't have to add correct you don't have to add the extra nodes so instead of that i think this is much better and easier so the way i'm going to change these values you can see how it works okay fine so i hope now you have understood all these uh, things and this is how your uh, entire program works uh, obviously i can select these and i can terminate them and i will keep this uh, as my final product i hope you have uh, you will surely enjoy this entire program please practice on this i'll keep all these uh, step steps uh, uh, as a what you can see in the paramo steps uh, individually so what are the number of steps i have explained till now i'll keep them as a uh, step by step explanation uh, as a individual object so if you just check out i'll try to uh, get this kind of a sequence will be there and you can start uh, studying them individually that is step one step two step three and you will surely achieve the uh, correct end product so please try that uh, and uh, use it and give me the feedback i hope this will help you to improve your knowledge thank you